This is Elizabeth Raval and I'm with Mata and Baker Tax Consultants. This video is how to get your Florida resale certificate. I'm going to show you step by step how you can get it online conveniently. But before I show you that, I just want to mention a few things. So I put a little PowerPoint presentation together with some useful information, really important details that you need to know before you go ahead and get your resale certificate. What is a resale certificate? A resale certificate, it's gonna allow you to buy items wholesale and not pay taxes. There are some businesses that they buy from a wholesaler and they resell it for a profit. Your profit's gonna be significantly lower if you're having to pay sales taxes. So with your resale certificate, you show it to the supplier, to the wholesaler, and they're not gonna charge you sales taxes. So not only are you increasing your profit margins, but you're also gonna be having tax savings. So that's great. So um, whether you're buying from the wholesaler, the supplier, online, you're, if you're selling these products online via Shopify, Amazon, dropshipping, Highly recommend it. Get your resale certificate. It's super easy. And the best part, it's free. There's no cost. So I'll show you how to get your resale certificate. Keep in mind, each state has their own rules, regulations, laws for sales taxes. So this video is for Florida sales taxes. And yeah, Florida does require it. Not everything that you sell, they're there's certain things that they don't require uh, for you to collect sales taxes, but certain things, retail items, um, you, you as a seller are going to be responsible for remitting taxes to ultimately charge your buyer for those sales taxes. So you won't have to pay it, but just remember that this money that you're collecting from your buyer, you don't spend it. <laughs> you're gonna it's gonna you're gonna collect it and we recommend you have a business savings account so that percentage that you're collecting you can put it there and then at the end of the quarter the money will be right there and all you have to do is just make the payment to the florida department of revenue once you do your quarterly sales tax return and in addition oh the website for the florida department revenue is floridarevenue.com I'll show you the website in a little bit. Okay, and as per their website, each sale, admission, storage, or rental in Florida is taxable. Florida wants their money. This is this is how they make they generate revenue for the state. Unless the transaction is exempt, sales tax is added to the price of taxable goods or services and collected from the purchaser at the time of sale. Florida's general sales tax is 6% for the state of Florida, but there's a discretionary sales surtax, AKA county tax. So every county is different. Miami-Dade County is 1%, Broward County is 1%. So that's gonna be in addition to the 6%. So don't just collect the 6%, make sure you're collecting the correct surtax percentage per county. There's actually a document in on their website and it's called, it's, this is their document and it's gonna show you exactly per county, depending on the county that you're in, how much you should be um, collecting. You see some counties 1.5%, others 2.5%. So this is a good document to reference. Okay. And the lovely Florida Department of Revenue website. If you're not familiar with it, I suggest you become familiar with it. There's a lot of useful information and their website can be a little bit tricky. It's not the most user-friendly, at least in my opinion, but that's why I go in. It's very simple, check it out, you know, read up. The more knowledge you know about sales and use tax, the better. And this is actually a Florida annual resale certificate. This is how it's gonna look. At the end of this video, you're gonna get this document. You're gonna you're gonna have this document. So it's gonna show your business name. Then this is a certificate number. This is a document that you have to show to wholesalers 
so that you they don't charge you sales taxes okay and the last thing remember okay before i show you exactly how to get your resale certificate it's not just about you're not just gonna be done with your resale certificate there's gonna be some work quarterly work every quarter you are required to let the state of florida know how much in total sales you generated how much of that was taxable how much you collected in sales tax and what you collected in sales tax whether you collected enough over a little they want to make sure whether it's seven percent you're gonna they're gonna charge you i mean you're gonna have you're gonna be responsible for sending them that and you have to send it on time or else you're gonna get penalties and these are the due dates for the first quarter which is january february march it's gonna be due on april 17th 2020. the best way i remember these due dates is at the end of the quarter the following month mid-month around the 15th that's when it's due sometimes it's due the 15th or the 17th it just depends on whether the 15th falls on the, on the weekend or not so that's how i remember for the second quarter of the year which is april may june it's going to be due the following month on july mid-month then for the third quarter july august is uh, september it's going to be due which month october mid-month and then the final quarter of the year october november december that's going to be due the next year mid-january all right well i hope you guys enjoy this video this is we're going to get to the good part now i'm going to show you step by step how you can get your resale certificate but if you have any questions feel free to email us at support at mbtaxconsultants.com or you can you can email me directly E R I B as in boy A O at mbtaxconsultants.com. I am in charge of sales tax, resale certificates, all this fun Florida stuff. If you have questions, feel free to email me and please make sure to comment, like, subscribe these on this video because if you don't, Jim is not going to let me make any more videos <laughs> and feel free to make some suggestions if you want to see additional videos on this subject any particular questions please ask we want to help as much as we can all right here we are make sure you go to the correct website floridarevenue.com this is the home screen you're going to click on the general tax tab you're going to scroll down and you're gonna go where it says register a business and you're gonna click account management and registration. All right, we scroll down and we wanna click where it says Florida business tax application. It's gonna send you to their online portal and you're gonna go ahead and create an account, a username and password. So you're gonna click here, create username, user profile, I'm gonna, I already have an account, but let's just create a brand new account. Okay, confirmation, gotta check my email, confirm it, and it'll allow, allow me to log in and get my resale certificate. Okay, so I already confirmed the email they sent me. So I should be able to log in without a problem. And there we go, Florida business tax application. And we're gonna click start new application. Before you start this process, make sure you have your EIN number. You should have gotten your EIN already. You should have your EIN letter and you just make sure you have the full business name and the address this application is a dr1 is a business tax application you're basically you're not just gonna apply for the resale certificate you have to do the entire application and it's gonna determine whether you have to do reemployment tax or communication services tax or reemployment tax it's you just there's you can't just do one app uh, the application just to get a resale certificate so 
Uh, it's going to take about, I'm going to say 15 to 20 minutes. Just depends how fast you are. But yeah, let's, let, let's go through it. I've done this before, so I'll do it fairly quickly. But okay, reason we are applying. We created a new business. So you're going to put here new registration. The first date of Florida taxable activity. You can put today's day. You can put the date of incorporation. I would just put the date of incorporation. Okay, so I'm going to do this business. It was opened February 19, 2020. Save and continue. Okay, you're going to put your business name, you're going to put the telephone number, fax number, you're going to press save and continue. Okay, and you can see all these tabs, you're basically going to go one by one, answering a ton of questions about the business. If you're not sure the answer of the question, you just try your best. Usually it's going to be a no, it may be a yes. If again, if you need help with this, feel free to give us a call. We can do this a whole entire process for you if you prefer. And so, yeah, now we're going to put our address. Okay, then you're going to, this one is the physical address. Then you're going to put the business address. It may be the same. You can put copy address from above. Save and continue. Put the county, Miami Dade. Okay, this is the business address. We already did this. Continue. Wait till it loads. Okay, then you got to put your N A I C S code. Depending what it is, you can search for it. You can you can put your actual code in or you can search here. This is for retail. Clothing and accessories. This is a sunglass business. Sunglasses. So, let me see. Okay, there it put the code for me. Okay, what kind of business is this? You're going to put whether it's a sole proprietor, a partnership, a corporation, an LLC. This business I'm opening is an LLC. So I'll go ahead and put LLC. Membership type. Is it a single member LLC or is it a multi-member LLC? You, it, you, you should know the answer to this. This business I'm opening for, it is a single member. If it's a partnership, you're going to put multi-member. This is an LLC. Let me see. This is taxed as an S corporation. You should know what your business is taxed as. If you don't, give us a call. We can help you with that. But uh, yeah, if you have a an LLC and you're a single member LLC and you didn't do any additional forms, then you're going to be default disregarded entity, which would be this. If you have an LLC and it's you with somebody else, then it's going to be a default partnership return unless you do a form 2553 to make it an S corp. Let's not get into that. Give us a call if you need help with that. Okay, so we're going to put here the EIN. OK. 
Okay, let me just make sure that I put the correct E-I-N. Yes, next. All right, and you're gonna need your social security number in order to open this. The officer, the owner, whoever is applying for this is either gonna ask you for the last four digits of your social security number or your visa number. So let's put this information in and then you're gonna press save and continue. Okay, date of Florida incorporation. You gotta put the date that it was incorporated this is optional. I'm just going to skip it. Then you're going to have a series of questions regarding all these taxes. And you just answer, has your business ever been known by another name? No. Was the business issued a Florida certificate? No. So I'm just going to answer these fairly quickly. And then it's going to ask you what type of products you sell. Okay, for this business, it does sell at retail, so I'm going to check this. Once you check this one, this one that means I'm going to have sales and use tax requirements at the end. The idea is you answer all these questions, and the system is automatically going to let you know which taxes, which Florida taxes you are responsible for. So again, go through every question and either answer yes, no, check if it's relative to your business or not. As you're answering these questions, you can see right here on the left-hand side what these questions, which tax they pertain to. So if you put a check mark on the reemployment tax, then you're going to be responsible for reemployment taxes or the communications tax. So in case you're curious and you wanted to know. If none of these pertain to your business, you're going to put none of the above activities applied to the business location, and you're going to keep going. Okay, property contractor questions. Do I sell products at retail? Yes. Let me see. None of the above. This is services. My business is not a service business, so it's none of the above. I don't sell fuel, so it's none of the above. Secondhand goods does not pertain to my business. Amusement machines, none of the above. Vending machines. Purchases. None of the above. Nope. I've done this before again, so I know that these answers do not pertain to this business. No. If you put yes on any of these questions, that means you're you're going to be responsible for, for a particular tax. So just make sure that you're checking the right boxes. Then this is going to talk of, these are questions about reemployment tax. Do you have or will you have employees in Florida? Yes, no. You can put no for now. You just started the business. If you are going to have employees, go ahead and put yes. Do you or will you lease um, employees, leasing companies in Florida? No, no. Maybe it's just for your business. Put yes if it's applicable. I mean, if you just want to get the resale certificate, go through this entire application. And all you really have to do is make sure you check one of the boxes in the sales and use tax section right here. Make sure you check one of those. You can put no on everything else if it, that's the case, and you'll still be able to get your resale certificate at the end of the application.
I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward this because it's, as you can see, it's a ton of questions. Do you wish to file returns or pay electronically? Yes. If you 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 can press yes, and then we're gonna we're gonna register. You have to register to e-file and e-pay. We're gonna do that later. So we're gonna click here. File returns and pay electronically without enrolling. So we do wanna file and pay these returns electronically, but we're just not gonna enroll right now. All right, and we're practically done. I authorize. Then you're going to put the name, your telephone, email, and you're going to press save and continue. All right, you put your information. Then you click submit application. Yes, submit. Oh, there was something wrong. Let's see. Oh, no, nothing was wrong. So at the end, it tells you what which taxes your business is responsible for. In my case, I'm only responsible for sales and use tax. All right, at the end of the application, it's gonna give you your application confirmation number and it's gonna give you some additional information. Print this page out. You're gonna need this, this application confirmation number in order to register online to get your resale certificate to print it out. So just print and save this document you can also, I would save the actual application. You can click here to see the registration application. I would save that as well. All right, you finished the application. Now you have to wait. You can wait three days. They approve your application. Then you can go ahead and create an account and it will allow you to print your resale certificate or you can wait seven to 10 days and you'll receive it in the mail. And please make sure to comment, like, subscribe these, on this video. 